Hello YouTube. Um, actually somebody asked me about uh, my floor pump that I use. Now I, I do prefer the floor pump over the electric pumps just because of course batteries tend to wear down and they actually slow me down. I can go faster with the floor pump. But when I'm doing the restaurants or just a small party I do use the, uh, the blaster pumps, the small blaster pumps. But as far as the big pump I'm going to kind of give you a little display on what it is and how it works and um, I do carry them in stock. They do retail for $175 plus shipping. So here is the floor pump. A um, couple modifications I've done too as well. The floor pump is basically P strong, very strong PVC. The tip, actually I cut the tip on a 45 degree angle. It just makes it a little bit easier to get the balloons on. Um, there is a rubber pad. I did make this. Got this from a, a home place and just a, it's just a piece of foam cut it out makes it a little bit softer for pushing down I did have the graphics put on there so I actually do have my name on the side of the pump which can be done um, I believe it was a, a place called Shamrock Publishing but I'm not sure I'm trying to figure that out right now but that's that works out really well nice advertising nice solid base it does lock down so let me spin this around a little bit there is a little clasp right there where it actually locks in and you can pick it up or unhook it and then it comes up and down. So that's the pump. The inner workings of it, very strong. It actually comes off. There's a little rubber gasket. The air actually gets sucked up through the bottom through that hole and then this rubber gasket has four holes as well. And then that pressure pushes that down which forces the air out of the top out of the top of the pump and the pump is basically just hollow PVC problem um, actually tried making one once the problem is um, PVC is pretty rough on the inside so unless you have the proper tools it's not as easy as it looks so it is kind of a hard thing to make um, it can be done but I bought mine and I'm very happy with it and I've had mine for quite a few years so they're pretty durable I do recommend though using the plastic tip rather than the brass um, the few times that I have dropped it, I have broken off the tip, and then you just take a little wrench or a screwdriver in there and um, take out the, the stud that's still left inside. With a brass one, you may actually crack the top, so I, I tend to stick with the plastic so that breaks before the pump does. But that is the floor pump, and they retail for $175. So if you're interested, send me an email. Thanks.